हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज़ द सेकंड लेक्चर ऑफ एल टी हैंड ओवर इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी स्टडीड अबाउट टी आई एंड जी टी प्रोटोकॉल एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वील स्टडी अबाउट इवेंट्स दैट आर यूज इन एल टी हैंड ओवर सो देर आर मैनी इवेंट्स बट वील फोकस ऑन ओनली फ्यू इवेंट्स सो दीज आर ए वन इवेंट ए टू इवेंट ए थ्री इवेंट A4 event, A5 event, B1 event and B2 event. So let's start with A1 event. But before starting this A1 event, let me draw a rough diagram that we will use in upcoming lectures of handover. So this is your source C node B. And this is your Okay, and we are calling this source E node B because our U E is attached to this E node B, and U E is sharing downlink and uplink data. Source E node B, and after few minutes, this U E is moving towards target E node B. So once this ue is moving towards this target e node b or it's better to say it's neighbor e node b neighbor e node b so once this ue is moving towards neighbor e node b this ue will find out some means difference in coverage that it is receiving means as it is moving far away from source so it will find that the coverage or the strength of signal Which are coming from source node B are getting weaker, and whereas the means the signal strength of target or neighbor node B is getting stronger. So on the basis of this means coverage or you can say strength, these events are triggered. Okay, let me means uh, let's start with A one event. So what A one event said? A one event said that. source e node b or you can say coverage of source e node b will be greater than threshold threshold suppose uh, the operator has set a threshold of minus 80 dbm at source e node b so means till the time means uh, u is uh, near to this source e node b so the means coverage will be like minus 70 dbm or minus 72 dbm or minus 77 dbm so means uh, these these strength means these the signal strength are better than threshold okay so in this time the a1 event will be triggered and handover will not be initiated because the the strength of source e node b is always greater than threshold uh, which is set by operator so now come to a2 event event so this a2 event says that coverage of source e node b is less than threshold suppose this u is moved at this point and signal strength will become like uh, minus 85 dbm or you can say minus 90 dbm means signal strength means uh, is decrease here means signal got poor here Uh, which is coming from source e node b so this a2 event will be triggered okay so what ue will does in that in that case ue will send a measurement report here measurement report okay and in this measurement report it will uh, share the rsrp and rsrq that it is receiving from source e node b as well as that it is receiving from target or neighbor e node b 
and on the basis of this measurement report the source node b will take decision means whether to do whether to go for handover or not okay this will see means uh, in upcoming lectures means when we were uh, studying handovers we'll see this measurement report in detail okay what this a3 event says it says when this a3 event will be triggered when uh, coverage coverage or uh, signal strength signal strength of neighbor e node b is better than source e node b by an offset an offset will be set at source e node b suppose it is 3 dbm then if the coverage that it is getting from target e node b if it is better than better than 3 dbm means better than 3 dbm you can say let me give an example suppose the source e node b means it is giving minus 80 dbm signal strength to uv and the target e node b is giving minus 77 dbm which is better than minus 80 dbm and the offset is of 3 db then this a3 event will be triggered i hope this uh, clear the means uh, this event a3 and a4 event says uh, neighbor your neighbor is better than threshold means in here you don't have any information about this uh, about source e node b only you will know is that neighbor is better than threshold means means you we can go for handover because neighbor is good is in good condition uh, in respect of uh, signal strength okay now a5 event this a5 event is used for inter frequency handovers okay so there will be two thresholds two different thresholds will be used so suppose the source the signal strength of source in node b is poor or you can say is less than threshold and your neighbor threshold 1 it's better to say threshold 1 and neighbor the means or coverage or signal strength that is coming from neighbor is better then threshold 2 okay source e node b has threshold 1 this and this neighbor e node b have threshold 2 so u is moving towards neighbor e node b so coverage of source is getting down and it is so down that it is poorer than threshold 1 and the coverage of neighbor is so good that it is better than threshold 2 so in that case the measurement report that you will send this measurement report to source e node b will have a5 event and it will include rsrp and rsrq of source e node b as well as of target e node b okay and remember it is used only for inter frequency this a3 is used for intra frequency but some operators use this a3 also for inter frequency okay now these b1 b2 are in use in case of inter rat and overs so in b1 neighbor is better than threshold but which neighbor these neighbors are only either 3g neighbors or 2g neighbors because this is used for in case of internet and overs only and this b2 event it is uh, used means the condition for triggering b2 is means uh, 
there are also two threshold and uh, the signal strength of source in node b is getting worse and it is so worse that it is less than threshold 1 and signal strength of neighbor is getting good and it is so good that it is better than threshold 2 but again neighbor will either be 3g or 2g because this is b2 and it is used only for inter that handovers so this is all about events in handovers so if you have any doubt you can uh, put your question in comment section and thank you